Good afternoon, Clive. 8th of May was the last time we saw any rain across this beautiful landscape here. This is the Mumbles in South Wales. It's hard to tell really how dry it is because you can still see the green gorse there on the landscape. But for much of the UK, it's that same story, scant rainfall in the best part of a month. You can actually see the cracked ground here more for Fareham in Hampshire. Why is it so dry and when will it rain again? Well, high pressure is what's holding the weather across the UK steady at the moment, and it's not going anywhere in a hurry. But by the end of the week, this low, which has been quite a menace and has already brought some heavy rain into Madeira and will bring some rain to Spain and Portugal, will start to push some rain our way. But for the rest of this week across the UK, it is looking dry. Friday, dry for the majority, but increasing humidity across southern reaches of the UK. And then Saturday, the showers starting to push into the west. And then by Sunday, we could see some just about anywhere. And I will stress some of them are going to be really heavy. Some spots could see the uh, best part of an inch, 25 minutes millimetres of rain falling in the space of an hour. So that is a big change to come. Hello there, good afternoon. Well, it's all about the wind direction as we head through the rest of this week. At the moment, we still have that northeasterly wind and that's blowing us in all of the moisture from the North Sea. So another very cloudy start to the morning as captured by a weather watcher, Barbara, in Bromley. But as we saw yesterday, there'll be plenty of blue sky and sunshine developing through the second half of the day. Sally's here. I, I can't. <laughs> What, what, what today? What's going on? <laughs> well, I'm a little bit hot, actually. But I'm wearing this, Duncan, as an example. And also because my boss told me to, because <laughs> she's going out tonight and on her WhatsApp group, all the girls were saying, we don't know what to wear. It's cold in the morning and then it's like warm in the afternoon when the sun comes out. And then I was looking around the office and one of our colleagues, Rui, actually wore this to work today. Hat and bear-like coat and scarf. And then in the evening, she said, you can have it back because I won't need it because it's going to be warm when I walk home. So this is actually a thing, though, because I don't want to bore everyone, but I hung the washing out this morning and I don't think it's going to be done by the time I get so home. So good. You're so good. Would well, you say it will be dry or it won't? I don't think it will be. Because no, it, was, be it felt fine. cold and damp out no, there. No, you'll be fine. You've got a little bit of breeze and a bit of warm air. It's June, Sally. Fine. I know. I know. It is a bit cold for June. But don't worry. If you're confused about your clothing, you're not on your own. I am clearly. And they are in Hoxton as well. Let's take a look. I noticed you're wearing a lovely warm Paddington I jumper. Know. Are you confused by what to wear at the moment? Uh, yeah, I was ready for a heat wave a few days ago, but now oh. I get to bring out this though, so I'm pretty happy <laughs> to wear my jumpers, yeah. I prefer to be slightly cold than too warm. That's oh, worse. really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm slightly yeah. the opposite. I've got a coat in my bag. So, oh, wow, have yeah. you? I kind of prepared for most yeah. things. Not taking any chances. Were you a Boy Scout when you were younger? No. Wow, you should have been. And which forecast do you watch? Um, well, there's the app on the... Sorry, no, I don't well, think well, you're won't getting take, this. Which forecast did you I, watch? You're <laughs> <laughs> so cheeky. Anyway, can you believe in less than three weeks it's going to be the longest day no. of the year? It's crazy, isn't it? Come on, warm up. Here we go. Here's the weather. Hello again. Well, I do hope you had a lovely Tuesday. Managed to find a bit of sunshine. There's a bit more cloud lingering tomorrow, but not as much as today. We've got more in the way of the warm sunshine when we see it. And it's getting increasingly warm as we go through the week. How's this for, well, not a bad outlook if you're OK with a bit of unsettled weather into the weekend. But look at the temperatures. Right, here's the pollen. So not good news for the hay fever sufferers. We have got uh, a little bit of a peak at the beginning of June. That's classic for this time of year, but coupled with the fine weather, the light winds and the lack of rain, very high levels, as you can see. Good luck and cheerio. Our dry run of weather is uh, continuing. Uh, today, again, it's been a case of some of us having sunshine, some of us having this flat cloud. This is stratocumulus cloud you can see here on uh, this weather watch picture. The cloud came in as planned last night across a good part of England, parts of eastern Scotland, but it just loitered all day. And that had a massive impact on the temperatures, particularly across parts of the Midlands and eastern England, where if we look at somewhere like Sheffield 18 yesterday, about 13 degrees underneath that cloud sheet. And for parts of western Scotland, there's a bit more cloud around as well. So Presswick dropping five degrees as well on account of those slightly cloudier skies. And it was a little bit, I mean, I don't want to complain, <laughs> a little bit chilly when we came out this morning. Hopefully warmer. 
<laughs> it was, yes, it will be warming up through the week. I'm going to start off on that note, actually, with a great architectural beauty that is the Tolworth Tower. Surrounded by all of this low cloud, it was a gloomy start to this morning. It was breezy, it was chilly, even a few spots of drizzle at times from the thickness of the cloud. But then, as it did yesterday, it started to brighten up. Lovely view uh, from Catford of Docklands there, starting to see some brighter spells appearing and, of course, lots of sunshine again through the afternoon. This lovely weather Watch a picture from Richmond just shows that really quite nicely, I think. All of the sunlight reflected in the river there. It's more of the same as we head through much of the rest of the week. It is set to stay mostly dry and it will be turning a lot warmer by the time we get to the weekend. But if you were watching this time yesterday, you'll notice that I've added one little word into the outlook there. And that's mostly because we could possibly see some heavy thundery showers develop as we go through the weekend. Uh, Alex is in a very sunny viewed in Cornwall and Alex has some lovely weather coming, isn't there? Uh, that's right, Mary, but we've got some lovely weather here at the moment. I know it's been pretty cloudy across the central swathe of Britain, but here on Bew Beach, well, it's a, a hive of activity at the moment. We've got the shoreline triathlon swimmers about to go into the water. It's about 14 degrees Celsius, and then we've got the Sirens uh, Ladies Surfing Club also out on the water at the moment. And this is all part of the Ocean Festival, which is on this week, all nodding towards uh, World Oceans Day on Thursday, which is all about inspiring people to uh, love the ocean and protect it and you can see they love the ocean here in fact this beach has got a, a blue flag quite different to this time last week of course it was half term this week somewhat quieter although some may actually prefer uh, what it's been like here today a light sea breeze and the temperature has been at around 22 degrees celsius set to rise possibly over the next few days in fact let's take a look at the uh, heat map and see what's going to be happening as we head through well this is all part of uh, storm oscar which has been across uh, part of the canaries this week that is going to head towards us bringing changeable conditions but certainly some hot and humid air but the risk of some thundery downpours but temperatures could be up to uh, maybe 28 degrees Celsius, 29 by the time we get to Saturday out towards the uh, southeast in particular. And if we take a look at the outlet, you can see how those temperatures rise, but also UV levels also peaking at around 7, 6. So if you're going to be out and about, make sure you do protect yourself with sun lotion at all times. Well, certainly over the next couple of days, it is going to be staying very settled indeed with more warm spells of sunshine. As I say, temperatures set to rise, but also uh, pollen levels rising as well. Let's take a look at the pollen forecast for tomorrow. Lots of us suffering at the moment from grass pollen. Very high levels in the far south, dropping to high and moderate as we head further north and out towards the east in particular. But that could well change as we head through the next few days. So keep a watch fly on that. Well, Mary, that's the way it's looking here in Abude. More of the same tomorrow. We'll be heading to the Eden Project.